I assume you can probably hear that too, right? Yes, indeed, that is uh, yeah, that is our grass getting cut. And this may not be a relatively important or consequential thing to do of anything, much like this getting cut as well, but it is quite sort of relevant to the fact that, well, our garden, right, it, it looks something like this. Incidentally, that was shot on a different day whenever it was raining, and, well, you can probably tell because of all this in the background, the thing called sunshine. I know, it's a, it's a weird concept. I've never heard of it before. But yes, uh, it is quite long, about to get quite shorter, in the process of getting very short, and um, you may be asking yourself, or maybe not at all, you're not even bothered, but still, I'll carry on with this subject that I've started. Why is it that long, or was that long? depending on your point of view of time and space. Well, many reasons, really. All right, look, for one thing, where we're situated in the place that we live in, we're stuck in a corner, and we have the biggest sort of front and back gardens of anyone around. And uh, it's sort of unfair, seeing as this is a house for disabled people and has disabled residents living here, and they have us with this garden that is far too big. Everyone else has tiny little square little lawn things like bloody suburban sort of shit, right? And we have a massive bloody thing that comes a jungle, as you can see and have seen. And, you know, it's just ridiculous. And you might be asking yourself also, Jack, why didn't you cut it, you lazy git? Well, also a very good reason for that is that certain persons who shall remain unnamed uh, once came round quite a long time ago, used our lawnmower, and then broke it. Not the actual mower itself, but the cable that attached to it. Uh, put the cable, as they were mowing our lawn for us as a sort of favour thing, uh, mowed over the cable that was supplying power to it, and uh, sheared it right in half. And uh, that was irreparable. And so that henceforth couldn't mow lawns because the cable was shot and sheared and sh shit. And so couldn't do it. And, you know, trying to arrange our grass to be cut, very quite difficult. I know it's grammatically incorrect, but fuck it. Uh, it's really bloody difficult. And we've had the housing association that houses us you know, breathe down our necks a bit, because someone around here, it would seem, one or multiple peoples, have complained about how the garden looks. Which I suppose is understandable, considering it is quite a massive eyesore. I know, we don't like living with the big jungle on either side of us, being as it was and is and whatever. And, you know, it's not like we choose to have it this way. It's just that we had people that cut our garden for us quite a long time ago, but these people who shall also be remaining unnamed uh, became a bit unreliable in the fact that it just became so bloody difficult trying to get them to come round and do the garden until eventually it was just like, oh forget about it, you know, it's just not worth our bloody stress. And so the garden grew and grew and grew and it's been, you know, about a year since it was last cut and that's just the front garden, the back garden wasn't even cut at all a year ago. So that's, you know, mo over a year's growth in the back. And it's all just so much stress. It's insane in my membrane, right? And, you know, it's getting cut now, and that is great, because now finally people won't be doing that suburban thing of just peeking through their shutters and looking at the people that they don't like. Eh, she? Eh, she? Yeah, gonna get the grass cut. Eh, eh, won't complain about them anymore. Eh, eh. <laughs> I don't know why they'd be talking like that and smoking cigars, they probably don't, especially not here, I doubt it very much. Any sort of film or TV series that you've ever seen that's to do with suburbia, and suburban culture and how bullshit it is, probably a little bit like this, except this is in Britain and it's not exactly like that, but it's sort of close enough to it that you can kind of see the parallels. And, you know, it's just 
it's all really, really odd. Now I don't really know where I'm going with this and don't know if there's any real overriding point to any of this. I'm just glad that the grass is being cut, that it's being rectified, that maybe certain people of higher authorities will stop breathing down our neck about something that we could not control, that we did not want, could not help, that people became unreliable and people made certain things happen to us that made it impossible for me to do anything about it in terms of cutting the grass myself or doing anything like that and you know it's just one thing after another just piling on top as it always does it's like a sitcom but without the com right just just the sit just sitting and no <laughs> there's no fucking Frasier and Niles running around here going <laughs> <laughs> that was my impression of both Frasier and Niles, and it was rubbish. But it doesn't matter at this point. So, yeah, I suppose that's it then. Uh, don't know what this is going to be about in the end. I think this is just a thing about a thing. Or something. Right. Yeah, that's still going on. Yeah, this, this will be going on for quite a while, I'm sure. So, yeah, I suppose I'll have a flash forward edit so that you can see how it turned out in the end, in the future slash present past thing. You know, yeah, might as well make this ending even more really badly done. Like, uh, for the devil inside. Yeah, I'll just end it and then you can add your own ending by going to our website. <laughs> yeah, fucking bullshit that film was, wasn't it? Not that I've seen it, or really want to see it whatsoever, just, yeah. Okay, that's not really not to do any of this either, so, and that's getting louder. So, I will stop, because I think that's telling me to shut up, even its own mechanical way. Uh, yeah, it's all increasingly scary. Anyway, the flash forward bit, and then the moment from the past, like I'm doing now, right, because that's a thing. So, bye, flash forward. Hello. Glad you could join us, Brittany. Are you amused by all this grass cutting? I'll take that as a no. Well, I guess I'll pick up rubbish that's left here that was not left here by us. Which is nice. And I'll be joined by guest host Brittany. How are ya? Yes. Sorry for scaring you. Get in, why don't you? back in. Jesus Christ, I just released some bees. Holy fuck, what did I step on? Oh, I think I'm losing my mind. That's good. I'm not going to need to lose any more of it. Feels like I'm stepping on dead bodies. Jesus Christ. Come on. How many fucking are they even bees? What the hell are they? Oh Christ. Oh come on. Oh yeah, 
lick your dick, that's helpful. And oh, no, I come on, this isn't even our football. We don't even have a football. Uh, just a little bit. Uh, just a little bit more. I'm afraid that I'm not going to do any more because, frankly, this is not my rubbish. It's not our rubbish. We didn't put it here. We didn't throw it in here. And seeing it, fuck me, that's paranormal activity. <sighs> anyway, I'm not doing any more because I don't know what could be underneath all this stuff that's been lying here for God knows how long. More bees, fucking door to a parallel universe. Well, that's unlikely, but still, you never know. It's not beyond the realms of impossibility. So, yeah, that is my day. That's great. And here's the bin bag filled with rubbish that is not ours. Yeah. So, hope that whoever didn't like our garden and that, our jungle, as it was really, and uh, all that, I hope they're happy now because it's cut, it's gone. I know it's not neat, I know it's not green and pastoral, but oh, it's all levelled over and isn't that the way it's supposed to be in this kind of place, in this British suburbia or whatever the fuck you might call it. <sighs> yeah, this all sounds far too pretentious now. Um, yeah, fuck it, I'll just end it now. Again, for the second time. It's like Return of the King, there's seven billion endings, so yeah, this is ending number seven billion and one. Right, right, bye. I'm getting all this. <laughs> <laughs>